Hello everybody and welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing another nail video for you guys. You guys really love my last one and so you wanted to see how to do gel with tips. So here we go. Uh, let's get started. So first I'm going to share with you guys all the things you need to create this nail look. So these are fake nails, fake tips. I got these at CVS. You can get them at CVS, Amazon, anywhere and they're really, really affordable. I believe it was at seven or eight bucks for the box. Then you're going to need a file and a little like tiny nail tool. This is going to go ahead and both either cut your cuticles or if you get your gel a little too close to the cuticle line you can go ahead and use that you're also going to need a big fluffy brush this is going to get off all the excess powder and everything through each step you're also going to need cuticle oil which is going to be the finishing touch to this whole nail tutorial also you're going to need a dip powder color so this is one that i use by new genesis it's in the color cotton white so i'm going to be using that color today and then you're also going to need a dip polish um, system or a nail polish kit. Um, this one's by New Genesis as well and as you can see it's steps one through four. So those are the things we're going to need for today's tutorial. Off camera I already went ahead and cut my cuticles and prepped my nails. So we're going to go right into putting on the fake uh, nails, <laughs> the fake lashes, the fake nails. So what you want to do first is line up the nails and make sure you go through each one and see which one fits your nail perfectly. Some people's nails are larger, some people's nails are smaller. So you want to go from thumb all the way to pinky and line them up on the table next to you just so you have just an idea of which nail goes to which finger so that it makes it so much easier later on when you apply the fake nails. So I'm going to go ahead and size them up and then after that is done we're going to go ahead and then glue on the nails. Now the glue on the lashes. So in the nail kit that I just showed you guys, it actually came with a nail glue. So that is really easy. If you don't have one, you're gonna have to purchase one separately. But what I'm gonna do first now, I should say, is take an emery board and just go ahead and buff the nails a little bit to kind of give a little bit of a texture and so the nails and the glue can kind of grasp to something. So you wanna go ahead and just buff them just a little bit, not too harsh or anything like that. And since we already have the nails lined up, I'm going to go ahead and start with my thumbnail. So what you want to do is go ahead and place the nail kind of halfway on your nail because this is going to give a good grip to your nail later on. So if you go ahead and place the fake nail all the way at the top, it's going to go ahead and just give kind of an easier way for your nails to pop off and you don't want that. So we're going to go ahead and place it kind of right in the center and you really want to press down. I hold down these nails for about 10 to 15 seconds just to go ahead and make sure that they are glued on tight and that there are no bubbles or nothing going on. You want to go ahead and put the glue. I usually just put it right on my nail. You can go ahead and put it on the nail itself. I'm sorry, tongue twister. And you just want to go ahead and do this to each and every nail. It gets a little bit harder as you add the longer nails. So take your time. It's a little difficult, but you'll get through it. After you have all your nails glued on, this is what your hands are going to look like, which looks like something out of Halloween. But the next step is we're going to go ahead and clip this to the length that you want. So for me personally, I don't like really, really, really long nails. I like them to be more on the shorter side, but longer, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the nails a little bit longer than I would want them to be, just because then we're, later on, we're going to go ahead and buff them and use an emery board to really get them to our liking. But I'm just going to go ahead and clip the nails using a nail clipper and just like I said get it kind of around the length that you want but a little bit longer so this is the part that is going to take the longest buffing out the fake nails getting the shape to your liking so you want to go ahead and use an emery board going on the sides if you also have a buffing block that's easier too and just going back and forth on the tip of the nail and you also want to make sure you really buff the top of your nail as well I cut out a lot of this footage just because it does take a really really long time so know that it takes a while have patience and just really make sure you buff those nails to your liking. Okay. 
Once that step is done, now we're gonna go ahead and start with doing the gel kit. So first you wanna go ahead and go into the first nail that you have. So this is the first one. This is the um, prep liquid. So this is gonna go ahead and take all the excess oils out of your nail so that the gel can really stick to them. So you wanna go ahead and take this and I'm gonna go ahead and put this right on the natural nail. You actually can go ahead and just stop halfway, but I just go throughout the whole nail just to make it easier. You want to go ahead and apply this all over each finger. Next, we're gonna go right into the powder. So like I said, this is the one I'm using today. It's called Cotton White. I actually used another color in my last tutorial, which I will link down below for you guys if you like that color better. So now we're gonna go in with step two, which is the base liquid. So you wanna go ahead and first, with the first coat, kind of apply it right across the line of your fake nail and your natural nail where they link together. So there isn't such a bump in your nail later on because there is obviously kind of like a ledge from the fake nail. So you wanna go ahead and apply a coat of the base liquid with some of the powder so it does blend together a little bit easier. So you wanna go ahead and do this to each nail. So this is gonna be the first step of the process just to go ahead and blend the nails together. I'm gonna to do my left hand first with each step and then we're gonna go and do the right hand later on. After that is complete, we're gonna go in with the big fluffy brush and just brush off all the excess powder. You wanna go ahead and do that after each step of dipping your fingers in the nail powder. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the next coat, which is gonna be the full nail. So you wanna go from all the way to the top of the cuticle, all the way down to the base of the nail. So you wanna go ahead and dip it right into the powder. Let it sit in there for a couple of seconds. And then you wanna go ahead and tap your finger on kind of the edge of the powder just to get off any of the excess. Now I will say the first coat may not be the greatest. I know that from doing my regular nails and fake nails, sometimes the powder doesn't catch the very first time you do it, but don't worry about it. As you do two layers or three layers or however many layers you wanna do, the powder will go ahead and collect. If you do get any on your skin, please make sure you go ahead and use a tool just to get it off just because you don't want the gel right on top of your fingernail or not your fingernail, your skin. So I always kinda of go in with a little bit of a tool and just create a line right around my cuticle so it doesn't touch. So just one finger at a time, you wanna go ahead and add that liquid and then tap it into the powder. So after the first layer is done and we have taken our brush to get off the excess powder, now we're gonna go ahead and do our second layer. I usually do two layers, I don't go three unless I really want a really opaque white, but for today's video, I'm gonna just be doing two layers. So as you can see, I'm going a little faster just to go ahead and not bore you guys. So after that, two layers are done and now we're gonna go ahead and start the process on the other hand while we let those powders sit. So as you guys know, we're gonna go ahead and start with step one first, applying the prep liquid all over. Over. Then you wanna go ahead and do the second step with applying the second step liquid right in between the fake nail and our natural nail. Next step is applying one coat of the liquid and then dipping it into the powder and doing so on each nail. Just so that this video isn't forever long, I am gonna go ahead and skip through. So like I said, you just wanna go ahead and repeat the step, do two layers on each finger, dip it into the powder, and then brush it off with the excess, um, brush the powder off with the excess brush that we have 
in the video. So now we're gonna go ahead fast forward. Nails are completely, completely done. And now we're gonna go ahead and start with the third liquid prep. So you wanna go ahead and put this all over. Um, this is gonna be just kind of an adhesive in a sense, not adhesive, but it's another step to just go ahead and secure all those powders and everything into the nail because next we're gonna go ahead and buff the heck out of our nails once again. The longest steps in this whole tutorial are buffing the nails to get them to your leg. I definitely definitely recommend um, buffing your nails because you want to get any little marks that you may have messed up on and my particular feeling on it is I've done my nails without um, buffing them at all after this um, step and it doesn't look it looks very rough when you put the last step on to just do that clear coat. It looks very, very rough. So I 100% recommend buffing your nails, getting them to your liking because it gives your nails a really nice and smooth look. So like I said, go ahead and buff them back and forth. It will take a while to get the nails to your liking, but like I said, it will all pay off in the end. And again, fast forward, this is my nails now. You wanna go ahead and wash your hands just with regular water, no soap, no nothing. Just wash them and get the excess stuff off. Now we're gonna go ahead and put another coat of that step three, so applying that all over the finger again. I know it's step by step by step, but like I said, in the end, it's worth it. And last but not least, we're gonna go in with step four, which is the finishing coat to this whole video and this whole nail thing. So you wanna go ahead and do a light layer first. So you wanna go ahead and apply this all over the nail. Be very, very careful with applying this. If you do get on the skin sometimes, it does cause a little bit of a burn, but you wanna go ahead and make sure, like it doesn't burn you, burn you, but you just shouldn't put it on the skin because this is a really, really hard liquid and this will harden your nails in no time, believe me. So you wanna go ahead and apply a very light layer first. You wanna go ahead and let it sit for about a minute or two. By that time, it will be harder. It will be a little tacky, but not too, too tacky. And then we wanna go ahead and apply another layer on top of that, but you wanna make sure that you wait a good minute before applying the next coat. All right, guys, we're in the home stretch. This is the final step. So you wanna go ahead now and apply one more layer of that finishing gel top coat. And now I apply a little bit more liberally, not too, too much and not too, too light, right in the middle, if that makes sense. And you wanna go ahead and apply this all over your fingernail again. And then you wanna go ahead and wait about two, three minutes, let this dry and your nails will be so hard, which is another thing that I love about doing this gel is there's no sit time, there's no wait time. You don't have to go to the nail salon and like sit there for like 20 minutes because your nails are still dry and you're nervous to go out and open your car door because you're gonna mess them up. These harden so fast and they are so, so perfect. I absolutely love doing these nails and I love doing the tips because it gives a little bit more of an elegant look, if you know what I mean. So after the second step is done and you've waited two minutes and the nail top um, coat has hardened, the final step is you wanna go ahead, you can obviously, you can skip this if you want, but another kind of luxurious step is if you wanna go ahead and add cuticle oil. I always add cuticle oil just because my nail cuticles are so, so dry. So go ahead and apply that all over the cuticle. Rub it in and then you are all done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was a request after my last video because you guys love the natural nail and you want to see adding a tip. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I love how my nails turn out when I do this. It does take a little bit more time than doing your regular nails, but I absolutely love it and it's totally, totally worth it. So I hope you guys enjoy. Like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I'll see you next time.